Welcome to Struggle Place, the show where rap stars recreate a meal that they've relied on throughout their journey to the five-star dishes that they enjoy today. I'm your host, Kai, and today's guest chef is Kwando Rondo. He's known for the hits Double C's and Imperfect Flower. He's also known for the projects Life After Fame and From the Neighborhood to the Stage. He's got a project called q Pot, and he's showing us how to make the q Pot casserole. So, Kwanda, walk us through the ingredients that we're going to be playing with today. Ramen noodles. Ramen noodles. Doritos. Cheez-Its. Onions. A loaf of bread. And I usually get, like, the pickles out of the corner store. They okay. come in the little... The little plastic bag? Yeah, like garlic pickles and stuff. Sardines. This is, like, the main thing you want to taste. Okay. When I was little, I used to think this was a snack. I used to just go in the cabinet. And just go for sardines? I get a sardines and, and eat it with like crackers and stuff. That's how I was introduced to it, sardines and crackers. You know, everybody got that one thing they always eat. Let's get into actually creating it. So basically, you're going to walk me through how to perfect the q Pot casserole. Well, you you got to slam this on the... <laughs> you got, so we're going we gonna to break it up and shit. Put nah, it you got to slam it on the ground or break it up. So we're we, we going we gonna to go crazy. We're going to be throwing that shit on the floor. We got to bang on it a little bit. We're going to make it work. How you wanna do it? Let's do it, let's do it. It can just be like broken in Yeah, like, you can just do it in a bowl. That shit way easier, right? Now that we got these shit all broken up, what's our, what's our next step? You gotta pour it all out. So we dump it in a bowl. And you gotta take a piece of bread. All right, so now we got the bread. You gotta ball it up. Ball it up? Yeah. All right. All right. You know, when you ball it up. Oh, so I ain't never boiled up bread in my life. It's some jail shit. You gotta take the cheeses with your hands. All right, so we take the cheese. Your bread ain't broke up enough. I'm, I'm already feeling. You really could put anything in the, whatever your stomach could take, I guess. <laughs> but this I is one of those, those dishes where it's whatever your stomach could take, absolutely. What would you say has been the weirdest thing, or maybe not weirdest, but I guess the strangest thing that you've added to the Q-Pot casserole? Hot Cheetos. Hot Cheetos. So what made you do that? Was you just looking for a spicier flavor or? No, I wonder I had no Doritos. Now you take the Doritos. Okay. And these are gonna be easy to crush. And like how much do I just take a, a like one handful? Do I, I mean, do two handfuls? One handful is good enough. Now we need a knife to cut the pickles. And all you do is take the pickle and skin it like this. I'm fucking up already. So now we got the sardines. So your, your flavor is spicy. Yeah, use one of these. You gonna taste this? Uh, yeah, of course I'm gonna taste this. So right? don't use that. I, I tried to take the easy way out. I'm not gonna lie. I tried to sneak out and eat the hot ones. I might use one and a half. Okay. So don't use all of the sardines in the can. Then everybody might not do this, but I like sardines so much, I would have wrapped this up, double wrapped this in napkins, and put it in the bag and put it in the refrigerator. <laughs> To this struggle place, we tried to uh, show y'all what the struggle's like. We flipped the bag inside out, but Kondo's fancy, so we needed the, the big boy bags. I ripped the hands off it, and so, I, like... So we tear up the bag. Yeah, we tear it up and make it, like, long. And explain exactly why we tearing the bag up. You gotta put it in this. And I guess, like, how did you learn the process of this? Like, I understand where you learned it, but the plastic bag is watching like, it. All right, after you get it like that, this shit looks like, Do it like this. Uh -huh. And now... Uh, well, did you chop up the fish? Sardines, easy. All you gotta do is, is, all you gotta do is just mix it around. Mix it. When was the last time you had the... Quando casserole. You fucking up, man. I'm fucking up. My people be complaining about this shit. Okay, what they be complaining about specifically? They say it's bad luck. What's bad luck? Eating this. They say this is bad luck? Yeah, they, they, they cause you, you eat it in jail. It smell like a meal, ain't it? It smell like something, ain't it? It smell like something. It smell like something. <laughs> It smell like something to me. Now we need some hot water. This water not really hot enough. Want to be a little hot. It gotta be scalding hot water, but it's it's good. Nah, we gonna eat this. This is gonna be our lunch and our dinner, bro. <laughs> After you pour, you pour a little bit of water. Uh -huh. All right, you do this. All right. I don't expect you to just be perfect. Man, I'm trying to be perfect, man. If you seen like it looked like raw, kind of still raw when I'm losing some of my, I'm the, losing some of my bags. Now look at mine. All right, all right. You see it? 
It looked like something, man. It? it looked like something. I'm gonna use the three of them. All right. All right. Now you just. I'm looking out, bro. Oh, you a long way off. I said I'm a long way off. So what are we using the second bag for? Because the noodles probably done broke up the first bag. So you just take a third bag and just whap it a third time. It's going to taste way better than it looks. I, I got to be doing something right by now. Oops. Let me see. I spoke too soon. Yeah, kind of. Oh, yeah, it looks great. All right. Now you Should I pour, dump it? You pour, nah, you pour a little bit more water in it. Just uh -huh. a little bit. It feel kind of warm, It man, do. Because it's cooking. Okay, okay. That's what, that what, that what I call it. But after I cook this, I put some fabuloso on the stove in the kitchen so, so it can smell back better. Cause this shit must fuck up kinda, your kitchen. The scent, right? Yeah, this make you full too. Like it gives you a real full stomach. See, look. You see the pickles and everything mixed up? I see everything mixed up. I, I'm just I, about to tie it up. About how long will we let this sit? Probably for like five minutes. All right, all right. And we just need something heavy on top of it. got a big mess. You can't, you can't judge my uh, Q-Pot uh, cooking skills. Speaking of Q-Pot, the project, uh, tell us a little bit about, like, I guess, some of the inspirations that went into you creating the project. Like when I was little watching rappers, how rappers always have something new going on. Like mm -hmm. a, a bunch of rappers always got three different names. Future called itself Pluto. Uh-huh, Hendrix, and yeah, yeah. You feel uh -huh. me? I'm Quando, Q-Pot. I feel like there's better in myself. Like this, this was this something I wanted to did five years ago because I was still stuck in the days on trying to be what everybody else is. But now, shit, I feel like music helped me come to who I am. It helped me find out who I really am. Some mixtapes and stuff I got after Q Pop really is more of myself because I'm I be in the studio trying stuff that I like. Mm -hmm. And this is your debut project, so how how different is this from your previous mixtapes? You grow every tape, so well I made it to the album. A lot of people don't get to make it to the album. That's so. fact. I, I ain't even gonna say what I feel, this is what I hope. Okay. I just hope it take me to the next level. And it ain't even cause of fame or nothing. I just wanna get paid. <laughs> I wanna take care of my family and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and keep doing music. You feel me? We can check it now. Let's check it. Let's get into it. So, are we ready to eat this? Or are we still in preparation mode? I mean, I can eat mine. So, so normally when you eat it, like, how, how do I'm you... I'm gonna dump all this in there, because of... Okay. And then we're gonna put this back in the bowl? Yeah, you put yours in your bowl. <laughs> you trying to stay far away from my shit. <laughs> so now we still gotta, like, mix it up a little bit? Nah, I'm just breaking it up. Taste my eyes. <laughs> All right, so I'm about to try the Q Park casserole for the first time. This man got his fingers dirty all that. Need a little salt and pepper, but I'm alive. I fuck with it. I don't want to eat it. It's going to get stuck everywhere. I'm going to have to go brush my teeth. Nah, you valid, you valid. All right, you valid, you valid. I eat this, though. <laughs> On a daily basis. We can't tell. No, I'm messing with you. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna eat some. Oh, he fucks with this. <laughs> That's a real nigga bite right there. <laughs> oh, hey. Uh oh, uh oh. We uh -oh. forgot the whistle. I knew it was a little tasteless. I ain't gonna lie. I, 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 I ain't want to say that, but all right, all right. So, can, right, is it too late? Yours. Word, word. It's yours way. So, now this is official tissue. Let me see. This is one of the meals that it takes you forever to chew, though. All right, now taste it. Like I still got some in my mouth from the last bite. <laughs> yeah, I want some. So, brother Kwando, please let the people know what grade I've received for my first attempt at the Kwando. I'm sorry, at the Q Pot casserole. Sorry. I'm like what? So I'm gonna give you an A. I got an A, people. I haven't, had, I haven't gotten an A in a really, really long time. So I'm very appreciative of that. I'm appreciative of you, Kwando. Check out q -Pop. And please uh, let us know how we did. Let us know if you want to take a bite of the q -Pop casserole yourself in the comments below. Thank you. This he made both of them. not good. That's good. <laughs> you're not, you're just not good? Because I ain't put no seasoning. Yeah, he, he flexed mine. What does it taste like, Eli? <laughs> 
But mine's yeah, got the like flavor. That. No. This is no. <laughs> this was bad. Oh my god. I'm not bad.